So if we were asked to derive this, we could derive this implicitly, meaning we didn't we don't have to solve and get y alone first and then solve it, and then and then uh, take the derivative of that. Uh, so if we are doing implicit differentiation, what you have to do is um, uh, you, you still take the derivative of each term. You treat the y's pretty much like x's, except they get one additional um, stipulation, or the one additional step added to them. So if I take the derivative of x squared, it's just going to be x, or 2x. If I take the derivative of the y, y to the third, we drop the 3, then we take 1 away from the, the 3. But then we also have to multiply it by dy over dx. <clears throat> now we can write dy over dx, or you can write y prime. It doesn't matter. And actually, you see y prime a lot in examples and such. And the reason why you do that is because of the chain rule, which we'll go into more detail about in a little bit. If I take the derivative of 0, it's just 0. So if I wanted to finish this, I had to get the dy or dx alone. So pretty much just you're solving for it. You've got to get rid of the 2x, then we've got to get rid of the 3y squared. So it looks like this. We have 3y squared times dy over dx equals negative 2x. And then dy, here we have dy over dx. And we're going to divide both sides by the 3y to the second power. So we have um, negative 2x over 3y squared. And this would be our answer. That is y prime, or dy over dx. So why do we have to do that? Why do we have to multiply right here? Why do we have to multiply by dy over dx? Well, <clears throat> let's, take, let's take a look at it like this. Uh, let's say we had uh, y to the third power. Now y, in this case, is going to be a function of x because we're taking the derivative with respect to x right here. So if that's a function of x, we could actually rewrite this as f of x raised to the third power. And if we were to take the derivative of that, um, clearly we would have to use a chain rule because we have a function inside of a function, and in the, the raising to the third power is a function. So what we would do here is we drop the 3, so we have 3 times f of x, and then we would have to multiply it times the derivative of the inside. And so we would write that as f prime if we were just using f. Now, <clears throat> f prime, as you know, can be written as y prime. And if we're going to do that, let's might as well let's write this as uh, y. Oops, I almost forgot. When I drop this 3, I have to take 1 away. So it's going to be uh, raised to the second power. So this would be y raised to the second power. And so there you have it. There is their 3y to the second power times y prime. And uh, we can, instead of writing y prime, you can write 3y squared times dy over dx. That's a derivative of y with respect to x. Um, <clears throat> so that's implicit differentiation when we're taking a derivative with respect to x. We could do this a different way. Um, or, you know, depending on what the problem asks, we could uh, say for x squared plus y to the third equals 0 that we would like to take the derivative with respect to y. So in this case, we're actually changing our independent variable. Here, our independent variable is x, and here, our independent variable is y. So how would this look? Well, we're going to follow pretty much the same rules as up here, except this time, um, the x is going to get treated special and not the y. The y is what we're taking the derivative of, um, of respect to. So I get 2x plus, whoops, I take the derivative of that, and now I have to go times dx over dy, because this time the x is the function of y, plus, now we have 3y squared. Okay, and Then we'd have to solve for dx over dy. So you would subtract uh, 3y squared from both sides, and then you divide by 2x, so it's going to be negative 3y squared over 2x equals dx over dy. <coughs> All right, there you have it. That's how you take the derivative implicitly. And um, this is what with respect to x, and this one is with respect to y. Here's our explanation of the chain rule as to why we have to have dy over dx multiplying to the, the derivative of the y part, or the dx over dy times the derivative of the x part.